but now since Dirk don't fuck with the nigga, Dirk, Dirk clown. But kind of like Twin said, how do we some fuckers and you want to cause harm to us, but who put you in that wheelchair walking around this bitch every single day? See, I didn't know that. Gang, gang, what it do? What's happening with y'all, man? Welcome back to another video. Back to another reaction, you dig? I got some good content for y'all tonight, man. And I need a haircut, man, you know what I'm saying? I couldn't even find really no hat, man. I had to just go get this Cubs hat, man, you know what I'm saying? I'm rocking the Cubs hat, cause we talking about them boys from the rack today. Today on the channel, man, we got that boy, Smirk. Man, we don't respond to shit we want. I'm like, fuck. So, gang, we got Dirt on the channel, man. And uh, I don't know if y'all tapped into my other channel. It's called King Dunn Reacts 2. I react to music videos over there. And I don't know, man, I may react to some more stuff over there. I don't know, but right now, man, we doing music videos because... I didn't want to bring that to this channel, but I also had an opinion on some of these niggas' music, if you dig what I'm saying. But uh, I reacted to Poodle the Flair. You feel me? Poodle the Flair is from Lemon Run 300. He don't like Lil Dirt. He came out with a record. My personal opinion, he could have came a tad bit harder, and uh, he just need to focus on himself. That's my personal opinion. Well, Poodle put clown faces over all them OTF niggas. He put a two face emoji over Booker Sit Honey. The only one he didn't really X out was Lil Vernie. You dig what I'm saying? And I don't know why. Maybe Lil Vernie give Poodle some kind of sympathy on him. But um, one of Dirk partners, he called himself, let's see now, OTF Twin 300. He had some stuff to say to Poodle. So we're just gonna put this on the screen here. Bang. So OTF Twin said, You ain't never did shit in the hood to be a hood legend. You got shot, put in a chair for the rest of your life. Ain't nobody died or got shot behind that. You remember, hood legend. <laughs> Niggas got voices on the net, but not the streets. And I guess that's OTF Twin on the top picture beside Dirk. You feel me? And Twin also went on to post on his story. He said, ain't no nigga never took shit from me. Ask him, 100. Taking some, that's gangster. Stealing, that's pussy. Big difference. Ain't no nigga that ever did something to me still in the hood or city acting like they ever did something to me dead or alive. Watch out, little bro. You know me for real, for real. And I be in the hood daily. Same gas station, same liquor store. Probably more than you. Ask your big homies. It ain't shit you can say about me. I ain't gonna care, man. Twin do have a point. You feel me? As far as like with Poodle going at them niggas. You know what I'm saying? Like... Because back in the day, Poodle was in the videos and shit. Poodle was riding them niggas. Dirk was the realest nigga ever, folding them and all that shit. But now since Dirk don't fuck with the nigga, Dirk fuck with the Dirk a clown, Dirk a pussy. I think Poodle just wants sympathy, bro. But kind of like Twin said, how do we some fuck niggas and you want to cause harm to us, but the nigga who put you in that wheelchair walking around this bitch every single day. See, I didn't know that. You feel what I'm saying? I ain't know that. I'm gonna be completely real with y'all. I'm not a street nigga. I'm a law abiding citizen for sure. But if a nigga put me in a wheelchair, bro, that nigga got to go to jail or that nigga got to die. That's just how I feel about it, nigga. You ain't gonna put me in no goddamn wheelchair for the rest of my damn life and, and you be walking around this motherfucker. Nah, nigga, you finna sit your ass down next to me for life. You feel me? So I do understand where Twin coming from. Like, nigga, you coming at the guy, you coming at the game for what, nigga? For what? Because Smurf won't give you a verse? Because Smurf won't put you in a position to win? Put yourself in a position to win, my nigga. You did what I'm saying? And plus, the nigga who caused harm to you, the nigga who, the reason for you being in the situation you in, that nigga walking around every fucking day. Go do something to that nigga. I understand that. Then on the other hand, Twin talking about he be in the hood every day. He talking about he be at the same little store. All that shit. Hold on, Twin. You know these niggas out to get dirt, bro. And it's been proven over and over that if a nigga can't catch dirt, they'll catch whoever close to dirt. So if you do be in the hood daily, if you do go to the same liquor store, bro, switch that shit up, gang. For real. Because the ops looking at your story too, gang. And they probably know that liquor store, gang. And I don't know this to be true, but they tell me that a lot of niggas done got hit coming out of stores in the rack. I don't know. They tell me them niggas can't even pump gas without a shite man. They tell me if them niggas figure out your walk, your ass out of there. I don't know, bro. I just think it's a tad bit dangerous to be going in stores and being in the hood and all that other shit and you close to smirk. That's all. You know what I'm saying? I want no smoke, none of you niggas. I'm just a YouTuber. 
You feel me? My advice to uh Poodle, Poodle the Flap, you got a little cadence with your flow. You did what I'm saying? Like I said, I reacted on that, man. Y'all go check out them reactions over there on King Dunn Reacts too. But yeah, bro, you got a little cadence with your flow. You got potential, gang. So the best thing you can do, bro, is just work on your motherfucking crap. Come up out the hood, my nigga. You did what I'm saying? Show dirt that he should invest in you. That's what you young niggas got to understand, nigga. Just because niggas have a little bread don't mean they got to put it in you. You did what I'm saying? No, nigga. Give Dirk a reason to say, okay, I need to sign Poodle LaFleur. You fit? Yeah, don't be calling niggas clowns and fuck niggas and just two years ago or a year ago, he was smirk was the realest nigga from Chicago. Now he's a fuck nigga. Shit just don't add up, gang. But like I said, I want no smoke. That's you too. Stay my opinion on it, my nigga. You can get any comments. State your opinion here. You feel me? But in the meantime, in between time, man, I go by done. Y'all make sure y'all stay y'all opinion in the comments down below also. And make sure you subscribe to the channel. Read the bedroom and bell. Make sure you hit all. Join the gang. Join the mob. I love y'all, man. 1700 by the mob. 2K, you know we on the way. Let go.